Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana, but on here I go by The Modern Sim, and we are back for another episode of the Moving On Let's Play series. In the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to go on a vacation for like the rest of the summer with Raven and the next episode, and that is exactly what we are doing. We are currently in Sulani with a group of Raven's old and new friends. In this episode, you'll see some new faces as well as a bunch of old faces and one face you literally just saw in the last video that I posted. In order for us to fully experience her vacation, I decided to split the vacation into two different videos. So this video will go up one day and then a couple days later, the part two to this video will go up. But I don't want this intro to be longer than it needs to be. So without further ado, let's get into this episode. So we are starting this episode off Tuesday morning at what, 9.15? So on the calendar it says we have until Sunday in this vacation. I don't think I'm going to be here that long because then that starts getting into fall and I didn't want to do that. But I, my plan, my original plan was to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm probably going to end the vacation sun Saturday morning and that is when they'll go home. But this is how long we'll real realistically be here. Before we get too far into the episode, I want to give you a tour of this resort. So Raven and her friends are currently staying here. This lot is called the Solani Beach Resort by Simple Cheeks on the gallery. I actually found this build on YouTube and more, it pretty much looks the same. Some things are different. The rooms are pretty much the same, but the ones that are in the front and on the side are different. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. I don't want it to be super detailed and whatnot. Okay, so this is the entrance. So going in through these these doors is like a shared living room space. So I have a couple couches, a fireplace, and then over here is actually a bathroom area. I, th I believe this was like originally like a spa area, if I'm not mistaken, but I turned into a bathroom and you'll see why in a minute. But over here are the showers. And then on this side is a toilet and the sink. But I wanted to have like a shared living space. So like if they all want to come sit and chat somewhere they can. But yeah, this is what this is looking like. And I think it came out really nice. At first I was like really stomped on what to do with this area. Because it just was looking like really weird. But I believe in the original build it was a receptionist area. But yes, going out through these doors we have the main residential area so we have three suites over there and then a semi suite like a, another room and another room over there and we'll get into those but on the left we have this area that i turned into like a kitchen area so this is what it's looking like i didn't want it to be too super big and things like that because this is still like a rental so it doesn't really matter but I have that and then a fire pit right beside it. And then over here is just like a nice table. Um, I assume the weather is going to be moderately nice. So I felt like it was cute to have the table right here. So over here is another seating area for them to come and relax and chill if they want to in the early mornings and whatnot. I'm just going to show you guys one of the suites because they're identical. These suites are, I would say they're pretty much consistent with, with how the built was originally made but i did change a couple of things but when you walk in there's this seating area and then you turn to the right and then this is where the bedroom area is so nice bed and then going through this door is the bathroom now i will say the bathrooms are like kind of different per um room they're just the color scheme is different but essentially like the layout and what's in it is the same but and then going back out we have this area where they can like a patio deck area where they can come sit and eat chill or talk and then um if they want to get in the pool or sunbathe they can as well so so coming back out of those rooms and past this like seating area we have 
some more loungers and then we have another room over here um this was originally just like a chill seating area but i turned it into another room because we had a lot more sims that were going to be staying here so this is a room with two single beds this is actually where Dwayne and um, Ivy's friend Cody are going to be staying. And we'll get to meet Cody in just a moment. But yes, this is where they're staying. Raven and Ivy will be staying in this suite. Kendall and Diego Lobo, who is on this trip, will be staying in this suite. And then on the, over here, we'll have Raven's other friend and her boyfriend will be staying over here. The suite that um, Dwayne and Cody will be staying in, they will have to use the bathroom that's in like the main chill area. So there's that. But over here, we just have a area for um, bubble blowing. But I have basemental drugs in here, so it's not bubble blowing. But yes, but that is pretty much the entire build. So on this trip, we have Raven of course Dwayne and Ivy like I, they had to come but we also have Angel who we met in the episode in which Raven went to the city so she is here and she's actually here with her boyfriend Evan Song so so Evan is originally from San Maishuno he is the oldest of five three girls two boys so growing up in San Maishuno he was exposed to a lot of different cultures and foods and so he's always been very interested in that and he went to college and got an English literature degree but realized he really had a bigger passion for food what Evan likes to do he combines his gift of writing with his love for food and so he is actually a food blogger so he travels around the world tasting different foods and writing about them and his eventual goal is to have his own restaurant back in San Maishuno where it's kind of like a a culmination of all the things that he's learned and eaten from all these different cultures all over the world so that is a little bit about Evan and then over here we have Ivy's friend Cody now Cody I'm sorry I don't know why he looks so sad but that's neither here nor there so Cody is actually Ivy's like neighbor like old neighbor like they grew up together so they're like pretty cool childhood friends and whatnot he's actually adopted by like the I think they're called the DeLongs. Yeah, I think their name is the DeLongs. And they still live in Willow Creek. He, every summer, he comes back down to visit his family. It's kind of like his off season, you know. But he is actually, actually currently lives in Del Sol Valley where he is pursuing, pursuing being a comedian. So at the end of the summer, he will be sadly going back to Oasis Springs. But you will see him later on. But yes, that is Cody and like... Uh, this is actually one of my favorite hairs by shea butter just the locks man they just look so good but anyways this is cody so also on this trip we have someone that you guys know and love we have kendall she is raven's closest friend and at this point they're best friends at this point like i made it official you will see raven in the bachelorette of san Maishuno let's play in a couple episodes so we have kendall and she is with diego lobo they're not officially dating but like at this point they're like kind of together when raven went to the city I, I think i briefly mentioned that they were like kind of in like the talking phase but like now they're a lot more closed off i'm sorry they're a lot more closed off but like they're not official but as you know <laughs> her relationship with diego lobo does not work out hence why she's on the bachelorette so sam i know but that's neither here nor there <laughs> okay so for the agenda today i want raven and her friends to like i want them to have a chill day so maybe around noonish we'll have them go to the beach and then like maybe they'll get something to eat and then tomorrow we'll do a lot more exploring and maybe hit up like a beach party or something like that we'll see we'll see but raven this is a vacation why are you on the game i don't even know i think this is in her inventory so let me put that back in there i want her to introduce herself to cody where is he oh she has already okay well we'll just have her talk to him raven do you need to be on your phone right now Gosh. <laughs> Outgoing, okay. What is going on? Okay, okay. I got triggered just for a second. What is going on though? She said, let me get a little closer. You know, Raven. <laughs> I don't think she tried nothing. But honestly, I don't know. I do want her to get closer to Dwayne in this trip. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Javina. Cody, they have good compatibility. Okay, open profile. 
Very attractive. Okay. Uh, I have been no okay, so he about to go talk to the mirror himself in the mirror. Hey, it's already eleven o'clock. Okay, let me um, uh, let me see. I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have her talk to Evan just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and have everyone change so we can get ready to go to the beach. Where the hell is Kendall? I'm sorry, I, I just thought about her. Is she still trapped in the bathroom? Girl. Okay, she's free. She's free, guys. God, she was stuck, y'all. I was like, it's been hours and she's just, I haven't seen her. We'll let Kendall come over and talk because she's been locked up in that room. They have to move this plant because this really is in the way. You better walk, girl. You know what I haven't seen in a while? Ivy. Okay, so she's talking to Diego Lobo. Yeah, be careful, because Ivy, I don't know. I don't think she would try nothing crazy, but you never know. Because the amount of times I said, I don't think they would try anything, and all of a sudden, they are in fact trying something. So I'm going to go ahead and have everyone change, and I will see you at the beach. Alright guys, so we have officially made it to the beach. I didn't really redo anything because I felt like it was unnecessary for this lot especially. I just kind of wanted to be just a free open beach. So, Oh, she's chatting with Ivy. Okay. Never mind. No. <laughs> Ma'am, respectfully, can you leave? Who is this? Okay, we'll let you be. We'll let you be. This is your place. This is where you live. I'm just trying to flirt with my man. <laughs> You can express admiration. Be like, I'm glad you came on this trip with us. It's her assuming with shoes on. We're gonna be like, we don't see that. I think she really likes him. I feel like with Simon, they had such great chemistry. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like I don't know. It's something about Dwayne. I'm sorry. They're just like really cute. I don't know. Ooh, who's this? Okay, what's up with Ivy? Is she scared? She must be scared of water. Because <laughs> they keep getting those random buffs. And I honestly hate it. Ivy, is that him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who that is? I'm sorry. Ivy, are you okay? Okay, we'll leave her alone, but I, I just want to introduce myself to this gentleman, Jordan Cote. Okay. Don't do cheerful. He thinks she's fun to be around. Jordan's sentiments about Raven. Immediately upon Raven meeting the Sim, Jordan has the distinct feeling that they're good tempered and fun to be around. Good. I just, I, no, you know, I'm not going to flirt. <laughs> I was about to, but so we, we on vacation. It only makes sense, but you know what? I'm gonna just do a little splash. A little splash. <laughs> Let them know I'm interested. Just a little bit. <laughs> the way I was just like, yeah, something about the way it <laughs> Yo! Raven has noticed that Jordan's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There is an intensity to their stare with their intention fixed squarely upon them. This may be the chance to move things in a more intimate direction. Is Raven going to accept Jordan's advances or ignore them? Accept, baby! <laughs> the way I said I want to get closer to Dwayne on this trip, and then here I am. I'm sorry, like, come on now. Tell me you wouldn't do the same. <laughs> Dwayne said, you know, let me just get out of this conversation. Everyone leave, or am I tripping? Because where is everybody? They were just here a second ago. Are they about to, like, travel somewhere? What's happening? They so rude for that. Like, <laughs> what if I got kidnapped out here? Like, that's actually crazy. Aww. 
Is everyone making the same thing? He made a turtle. Cow plant, cow plant. Okay, so I think he's just helping everyone finish theirs. That's nice. What is this? Oh, it's a shark. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, okay, I want some pictures to be taken. You know, I think I'm gonna just take photos of... We'll do Ivy. Even though Raven is still a little bit hurt by Ivy, I feel like that's still her girl, okay? Like, they still cool. Oh, she looks so cute! Oh my gosh, she looks so cute! Okay! Okay, Ivy! You trying to put this on Instagram? <laughs> okay, girl! Oh, this is cute! Let me do this in, uh landscape this is cute oh my gosh ivy you gotta give you can pose girl i want y'all to take some pictures of raven too because she looked too good not to have some pictures taken of her so why is this the first picture girl ivy are you <laughs> not ivy raven are you okay she looks so cute okay you better pose girl and i feel like this would be like a, a off guard Okay, she has a really good relationship with Angel. She just met her today. Why does she have a relationship with Morgan? It's, I guess maybe she don't know, but... I don't know, this seems a little suspicious. I'm going to have them go ahead and travel to the restaurant, and I will see you guys there. Right, guys so we have made it to the restaurant now this lot is called the Solani Beach restaurant by Diego Tan Diego Tan one of those on the gallery it took a lot to finally get here I had to do a lot of uh fixing things because for some reason like the waiters and stuff wasn't showing up so that's why it looks a little darker and things like that but we have made it I have them seated on like the back part there's like a there's like a seating area in the back so this is where they're seating i'm gonna go ahead and have them order order for table for raven i'm gonna give her ooh a typhoon that's all their drinks we're not doing any appetizers because we're not trying to be here to the crack of dawn the basil crab linguine i feel like evan like i said earlier he's very much like a, i'm gonna try a bunch of different foods so i feel like you'll get Maybe this artist in fish trio. We'll get him that. So I'm going to have Raven talk to Angel just a little bit. Because I feel like they haven't really spoke today. And she can also talk to Cody. I kind of want everyone to engage. Looks like everyone's having a pretty good time. Maybe after this, well, they already got a bit of drinks in this system. Maybe we'll have them get a, go to the bar after this. I don't know. Depends. Some of them have fun. It's vacation. But I did say I want them to take it easy. So maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll just do this later. Do that later. Not they flirting across the table. Please. <laughs> They so cute. I'm sorry they are. <laughs> I'm gonna turn headline effects off in a second. <laughs> they gained a sentiment. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Y'all just met each other. Dang, that bar is high. You know, Dwayne's just one of those people, you know? He's very likable. Angel just wants the best for Raven and thinks she's so wonderful. Oh, that's so sweet. Is that food poor quality? Oh, it is. I feel like Angel keep getting dirty, oh, dirty because why is her food so bad every single time we go out? Ooh. Everybody else's is fine, except for Raven's. Hers is poor quality. Poor, normal, normal. Dang, I'm so sorry, Raven. Hopefully she don't get sick. Okay, so what time is it? It is currently 1.57 a.m. I think it's about time for 
them to finish eating and then I'm gonna have them go home. Look at him, don't you see like he's really enjoying his food? The flavors. <laughs> okay, so Raven has paid for the bill. And we're gonna go home now. But I will see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, so we have made it back to, I always wanna say the villa, but we've made it back to our rental. And okay, so Raven is tired. Let me see how everyone else is feeling. Oh, okay. Why is everyone still hungry? We're just gonna, I don't want them to stay up. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and send them to bed. Not Evan trying to make sandcastles, babe, no. He's so adorable, I'm sorry. What? Oh, chill, I don't know what I thought that was. I feel like Raven and Dwayne haven't had the chance to really like chat, you know what I'm saying? Like they were chatting and then that, you know, that guy showed up, which I think I'm gonna send him a message. Where is he, Jordan? Send text after she gets out the shower. Even though it's 4 a.m., but you know, we're on vacation. <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like just about to go see like what's going on with everybody <laughs> ivy please oh my gosh ivy said you know let me just get one in before i go to sleep <laughs> i just wasn't expecting to see her over here like doing that like that's too funny oh my gosh do your thing girl do your thing i ain't even judging Oh, they're making sand castles together at 4 a.m. Fully clothed. Like, they're not even in no, no swimming trunks or nothing. I'm sorry. They are so adorable. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and send. I'm going to let Raven go ahead and go to bed. I'm going to send everyone else to bed. And I'll see you in the morning. I've sent everyone to bed, but you cannot tell me that this isn't cute. Like, ugh. Bed cuddle will always eat. Let me see if they cuddling. And they are. Oh, that's her man for real. They locked in, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. So mostly everyone is up. I was about to say, who is that? Is that Dwayne? Oh, she can go talk to Kendall. She's like, where my girl at? And Ke Dwayne, why are you? Oh, he about to come talk to Evan. I was about to say, because why are you just busting up in his room like that? Also, Raven, you a little insensitive because that man is clearly in here sleeping and she gonna come in here and want to talk. Okay, but anyways, I want them to go to a cafe today. I don't want anyone to have to cook. Let's just go ahead and chat with Dwayne. Also, I want him to change his outfit like he ain't hot. Because I just feel like you've been ignoring his man. You ain't really been ignoring his man, but it's just she has so many friends here that she has to interact with. That like... <laughs> See, he already... <laughs> He already also every time every time they get along together, he said, "Babe, you already know what time it is. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile, Angel." Like, oh, that's so cute. Like, I love that all the friends are getting along. You know what I'm saying? Like, they all have their different personalities, but they really are getting along, and it's so cute. But you know what? Let's just go and flirt with Dwayne just a little bit. Evan. He's so <laughs> every time we try to get them alone together, that's what somebody get in the way. Evan, please. Like he just ha he just has to like come clean up a puddle. Maybe he's his wingman. Maybe he's like, I'm trying to set y'all up. Like I need y'all to really get together. I see the way you look at Raven. Wait. <gasps> Raven fell in love with Dwayne. I'm sorry. We're not gonna talk about Simon. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about Simon. She fell in love with Dwayne. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like that's so cute. I just feel like Raven not taking her opportunity. <laughs> Let me see. Let me have her do one more action. One more interaction. Evan, please. It's like Evan trying to set them up. <laughs> He's trying to make sure everything goes. Wait. What is going on? I think he ship it. He's just making sure things get done. <laughs> Wait. What is... What was that? 
Okay, they haven't had their first kiss yet. That's all That's all that matters. That's all that matters. She just kissed them on the cheek. Okay, Raven. Okay, so I'm going to have them go ahead and head to the cafe because everyone and their mama is hungry. So I will see you guys when we get there. All right, guys. So we have made it to the cafe and people are immediately going to go get something to eat. It's a good day to stay active, get up, move around a bit, set a goal to reach 10,000 steps a day. Don, please. You are not my personal trainer. Like, come on now. The fact that he ain't even behind the thing and everybody just shouting orders at him. If this ain't Starbucks, let's talk to Rick Ivy a little bit. Kim coming to sit right next to Ivy. Not Ivy. I keep mixing everybody's names up. Raven, like, we know what's going on. We might have to give them, like, the old date when we're here. Because how could we be in this beautiful place and they don't get their own date? Like, come on now. We gotta do it. That probably won't be till like, next episode. Because that would be too much, I feel like, for this episode. Who are y'all talking about? Praise romantically exclusive lifestyle. Oh, oh my gosh, it is so many people in here. I know that man is overwhelmed. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more time. And then we're gonna go to a beach party seems like everyone is pretty good food wise so we're going to go ahead and travel to a beach party all right guys so we have made it to the beach and i'm just gonna have everyone just like do what they want oh i should have got some um those like jet skis let me see if i can get some really quickly okay right <laughs> She goes. <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't expecting her to run. Go that, babe. I'm sorry. Hey, Raven, it's me, Simon. Do you want to go out on a date? Now, who told to the island bluffs? You want to go to what is that? Windenburg? He tried to take me out of the city, y'all. <laughs> he just tried to be out the country. I'm sorry, Simon. Like I'm, I'm. Literally on vacation, trying to get booed up, and here you is trying to test me. It's like he can feel it in the air. He could feel it in the air. He said something, something's happening with Raven. <laughs> no thanks, babe. Maybe next time. But that's funny. Raven over here having the time of her life, and he over here trying to text her like, "Hey, you want to go on a date?" Like randomly, he ain't texted us this whole entire time. This whole entire time, ain't sent us a message, not nothing. We got more messages from Don Lothario than we have from him and he just gonna set up a message and be like hey you want to go on a date well if you don't get out of here anyways let me take some screenshots because raven looking cute okay you better ride girl now she about to run people over okay i'm about to say raven this is so cute though i love this for her okay i kind of want her to go dance in a minute because i think there's a dj here yeah but this is cute. It's Dwayne already over here dancing. You better get it, Dwayne. And then also, is that the mixologist? Why is the bartender over here? I was like, y'all better get down. <laughs> y'all better get down. What you got, Cody? Okay, Cody, okay. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so cute. Okay. 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 Did y'all see that? He had to give y'all a, a warm up. He said, let me. And then he got in the middle of the dance floor. Okay. <laughs> he said, y'all gonna see these moves. Ivy won. Cody lost. Wait, where are they? Morgan, you call your new relationship more love? Wait, 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 dang it, it went so fast, but I'm pretty sure it says, it was, it was definitely for Morgan, it says, you call your new relationship love more like a rebound? Morgan, hold up, how you text me? I thought I blocked your number. <laughs> wow, it's like they can feel it, they can feel it in the air, they feel, you know what, I think she about to move on, and they said, you know what? The whole purpose of this LP was for her to move on from her relationship and her old life that she had with Morgan, right? And so now that she's really like, I feel like the past couple episodes, like 
episodes one through six is her like kind of getting her footing well really one through five kind of getting her footing and like readjusting to life as a single woman and then also in willow creek and just like you know getting back out there right but now that we're getting to to really into like the love thing they, it's, it's like they started coming out of nowhere like honestly the simon one okay i could have i feel like i could have kind of predicted that maybe but the morgan i thought we would never hear from him and then he gonna send that message that's actually insane i've never gotten that message before but that's actually insane the, Ooh, the juice is he the gossip you know what i'm saying like i love it but um he really tried it with that and i can't wait to when i finally go back into editing and i can clip that y'all definitely gonna see it because that was wild anyways let's get back to partying because we're not gonna let nothing stop us from enjoying our vacation okay let me order drinks for the group what is diego's problem i love this for them they really having a good time i love it for them for real i'm allow everyone to get their drinks who's still here and then i'll have them meet at the bar after this but if they go back to the the, the thing it's okay Okay, so it seems like everyone is pretty much left. So we're just going to go ahead and transition this party to the bar. And I will see you guys there. Okay, so we're at the bar. I'm going to go ahead and have Raven order some drinks. D- <gasps> Y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him? He he trying to be all cute. Kendall is right there. See, I told y'all that yeah, they don't work out. They don't work out for a reason. I didn't think it was going to be this reason. Diego's giving Raven an, a suggestive look. And the girl he on vacation with is right here. Kendall's right here. Oh my gosh, y'all. I did not expect that to happen. I really didn't. I really didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going to pretend like we don't see him. We're going to talk to Cody. It's like, did everyone else see that? It's like, it's like Ivy peeped that. She was like, hold up. Now, wait a damn minute. Like, I can't believe he really tried that. He really tried it, y'all. <laughs> like, this is expected. Like, Dwayne giving us a, a suggestive look. Like, go off, sir. Do your thing, babe. But... What's his name? Diego? You is trifling for that, like, on all types of levels. I feel like we should talk to Kendall. Like, as much as I wanted to talk to Dwayne, I just feel like she, she, and then he is sitting on this because he know, he know he guilty. He know he guilty. <laughs> sitting all alone by yourself. No one else sitting over there but you. You know what? I'm going to be a little messy. <laughs> gossip other sims hook up with because cody's attractive so let's see let's see because i don't think i don't think ivy really cares i think ivy's very much like friend zoned him but i think you should go for it girl <laughs> it says cody sounds like a great catch we're gonna ignore this cody sounds like a great catch i'll introduce myself when i see him so she's coming to see him i just want to see what happens Whoa, what? I know I, did I read that correctly? Cody just became the boyfriend of Kendall. When Kendall, <laughs> when Kendall said I would get my lick back, she meant that. Boyfriend? What do you mean boyfriend? I just thought they was gonna like date a little bit or whatever. Hold on friendly advice y'all are funny i thought they was just gonna date a little bit but boyfriend y'all this can't be real this can't be real y'all i refuse to believe this is a real episode we got the exes slash almost almost boobs half bays or whatever texting us out of the blue we got diego lobo hitting on us trying to shoot his shot at us right in front of Kendall. We tell Kendall, Kendall said, I'm going to give my look back. Is she going to go date Cody? Like, even though I, I I was being a little messy, yes, but I thought they was just going to, like, talk. I didn't think she was finna be like, yeah, you're mine for the rest of the trip. Like, <laughs> what? 
Evan has a horrible feeling that the love of his life is on something. Please don't tell me <laughs> Angel's on drugs. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. She's not even on anything. Okay, like so she was just drinking. Cause she did she did have she did have stuff floating around her head. So I can see why he thought that, but she she wasn't even doing anything. Oh my gosh, this episode it, it got me scared to even press play. Leap into arms. Okay. I got scared. I thought somebody proposed to somebody. Cause I about to say, this is too this is too much. This is too much. And now here now here is <laughs> Now here's Diego just standing behind her. Diego. <laughs> I'm gonna let them enjoy the rest of their night and then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna end this episode, okay? Oh, he finna kiss her. That's so cute. Like, I've been wanting them to, like, just be a little more cute. I feel like they haven't really had the opportunity to really be themselves. Oh. Okay. Alright, anyways, guys, so I've already been letting them chat for a little bit longer and I think it's just time to go home so we can end this episode. So I will see you guys back at the rental all right guys so we have made it back home i think i'm gonna go ahead and even though raven no one's really that tired but i'm gonna have raven go ahead and get her a snack or something like that so like she can eat and then go to bed but my goodness this episode y'all we need some mixed berries or something i don't know wait a darn minute so kendall <laughs> kendall you can't be serious. You can't be serious with me. You cannot be serious. You just, you was with Diego. <laughs> you was with Diego. He did something crazy. Okay. Yes, we get it. He, he, was, he was, he was moving a little wild. Then you go, Raven tells you, then you go get a boyfriend, which is wild to me, but get a boyfriend. And now you, now you're thinking dirty thoughts about Diego. Like, let's, girl, you gotta pick, you gotta pick, you gotta pick a struggle. <laughs> Oh, they toxic. Oh my gosh, let me check my other couple. Y'all in here cool? Oh, they are so cute. Oh. So this is the sweetness we need to end this episode on. Like, oh, so cute. And now, they in here cuddling in bed. Y'all, this episode is wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right, guys, that is all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely did. This episode was very very interesting <laughs> but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye